Hi, it's been a minute. This is a follow-up tutorial for PNG Tuber Plus covering updates up to version 1.3. This will not be comprehensive and requires prior knowledge of the program. If you're looking for something more in-depth, please check out my first video. And as always, please use timestamps and chapters to navigate. Starting with view mode, there is an additional gear in the bottom right. This gives access to two new settings. The first changes the background color for view mode. You can click on the presets here, or if you click on the last box, you can choose your own custom color background. Please note that this setting does not actually affect the background color for when you enter editing mode. I prefer keeping mine on transparent and then swapping in whatever custom backgrounds I need through OBS instead. I had quite a few folks ask me how I captured my PNG tuber with a transparent background on my last video. In your streaming program of choice, capture PNG Tuber Plus as a game window and be sure that Allow Transparency is toggled on. Otherwise, the background will just be black. The second setting is an output frames per second slider. If you notice that you're experiencing jittery animation, you can try lowering this. The program will default to 144 FPS, but I have mine lowered to 60, which is more than enough for streaming purposes. Entering edit mode, we can now see an additional UI panel for our layers. You can navigate to layers directly by clicking them here, rather than trying to find them by clicking directly on your model or by using your mouse wheel. This also makes linking much easier as you can more accurately select parent layers. You can also clip layers to each other by linking them. For the demo, I have an image that I like to clip to a circular base. To do so, I select the image, the child layer, and link it to the circle, the parent layer, and toggle Clip linked sprites on for the parent layer. Now, all child sprites linked to the circle will clip to it. The biggest update added since version 1.1.3 is sprite animation. Here, I have the same model loaded into version 1.1 and 1.3 of PNG Tuber Plus. Sprite animation allows for more controlled idle movement that isn't dependent on base rigging. I personally enjoy using it for more expressive mouth forms and additional eye movement when I'm muted. This can be done using sprite sheets. So what is a sprite sheet? You can think of a sprite sheet as an exploded GIF, with each frame laid out side by side. To create the animation, each cell is shown one after the other in quick succession. Here, I have a set of different mouth forms for my talking sprite sheet, and exported them as individual transparent PNGs. Now to link them as a sprite sheet. I personally used Free Sprite Sheet Packer Online, an alternative to professional pay-to-use programs like Texture Packer. Make sure your layout is set to horizontal, add your sprites, and then download the resulting sprite sheet as a PNG. You'll add this sprite layer to PNG Tuber Plus instead of the individual frames. Using a sprite sheet packer ensures that all of your frames are aligned and equally spaced, which makes importing in PNG Tuber Plus much easier. Once you've added your sprite sheet as a layer, you can increase the number of frames equivalent to how many there are in your sprite sheet. After that, you can experiment with how quickly PNG Tuber Plus cycles through each of the frames with the animation speed. That's pretty much it. Remember that PNG Tuber Plus is meant to be a lightweight program. Adding too large of an image or too many frames can cause the animation to fail. I'll try to post more mini updates as PNG Tuber Plus develops. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!